welcome to vlogmas day two so today i wanted to show you guys how i prep my press on nails and well how i prep my hands to put my prep on my press on nails on yeah my uh, wireless headphones broke right before it was time for me to do this voiceover so i really truly hope that it's gonna come out clear and that you don't hear this fan from his computer so what I press on nails with that? What is what's press on nail preps without the actual press on nails? So these are the nails that I did a little while ago. I have accepted the fact that I cannot do just plain nails. Originally these nails were just all the um the nude color and I just I, I couldn't do it. I, I missed the bling, I missed the extraness. Um, I haven't had a nice bling set in a while, so that's what it is. So let's get into it so first things first you want to make sure that your nails are nice and clean um your hands are nice and clean so i just want to go through the items that i showed you guys in the beginning so this is a cuticle pusher i might not know the specific exact names for it but i know this is a cuticle pusher so one end is the cuticle pusher and then the other end is i just use to clean up under the nails when you're using a cuticle pusher you want to make sure that the rounded part is facing up and you want to use gentle pressure i don't even like really using the word pressure you definitely don't want to be too rough on your nails i had to learn that the hard way i used to use a nail drill with um a sanding band that was a little bit less rough on my nail and as y'all could see that nail right there i ended up getting a nail infection and it took a while for the nail to even grow out long enough uh, for me to put nails on it so for a long time i didn't do any press on nails so just from my experience i don't use the nail drill anymore i just use a regular file and i'm gentle with it the the nail infection was it was brutal y'all so once you push back all of your cuticles you want to go ahead and on the with the other end of the cuticle push if you have a cuticle um, pusher thing that's like mine you just want to clean up under your nails or you just want to have something to clean up under your nails again gently you don't want to do anything that's going to possibly make you bleed or anything like that we want to keep your nails as sanitized as possible all of these items were um, sanitized before I used 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean all of my items now i am not a professional but this is what i do and it has worked for me thus far i had the nail infection when i filed my thumbnail down too much um with the nail file so it didn't come from the tools or anything like that so once your cuticles are pushed back and everything i just go with my um i guess you call this like a cuticle snipper or something like that a little just to get like the little if you have any excess skin that's on your nails or something like that that you want to just make sure that you clean that up you don't want to go crazy with it or anything like that so i'm just showing you how i got a little some little crusties or whatever so you want to get those as much as possible you ain't going to get them completely it's not going to be spotless well for me it's not spotless and i'm fine with that i just i want to get it to a point where i'm like okay i know that any dead skin that's around my cuticle is no longer around my cuticle so y'all get the gist of this i think i might speed this part up not too sure if i'm going to but i know at some point i'm going to speed this up but yeah y'all on a, on a side note on a side note i'm really really my, my feelings hurt about my headphones so as you can see i done got rid of all of the little cuticles i did it off camera because it just i'm it takes me a long time i'm a little bit meticulous with it so i like to take my time i didn't want to go through the preparation of filming it i just wanted to be able to know that i'm going to be able to completely focus on that the first thing that we did again just to recap is we used the cuticle pusher we cleaned up under the nails and then we used the little snipper to get the dead skin off so now what i'm doing is i'm gonna i'm using the the less rub the the less rough side of the um oh what is this called file nail fowler the less less rough side of the nail fowler and i'm very gently it might look like i'm being rough but i promise you i am not the foul is barely touching my uh, finger i just want to get that shine off that's it i'm not trying to foul it down i'm not trying to make it into a shape or anything like that and just to show you the comparison between the the hand that has um the the where the nail beds are still kind of oily and the side where the nail beds are nice and dehydrated they looking thirsty they looking real 
water worthy. They, they look at parched and that's what you want. You want them to look, you want them to look parched. So side by side, you can see, um, you can tell the difference between a hand that has the oil, the oil that's still on the nails and then a hand that doesn't. So we want to make sure that the other hand looks dehydrated like the other one. So now that, now that these hands is nice and thirsty, um, what I do like to do is again, I'm going to clean up the space. So what I do like to do after I clean up the space is I like to go over it with um, some alcohol. I don't know if I'm jumping ahead because I don't really remember how I edited this, but I think that I think I, I know that I would normally do the alcohol next. Y'all, when I tell y'all I'm all over the place, I was editing this video and I just did not expect for it to take as long as it actually took me today. And then I stopped and ate and all of that. So yeah, so this is the alcohol. So I use the 99% isopropyl alcohol. I got this off of Amazon along with the cuticle pusher and the, um, the snipper. I got the nail files off of AliExpress. I might do like a haul showing just all of it. So I take some al uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then I just go and clean the nails off. Now, I'm going to tell y'all in advance, I forgot to use the nail dehydrator. Because let, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell y'all for, for y'all stop rolling y'all eyes. Now, I used to do poly gel nails. And with poly gel nails, because I didn't have no dehydrator, they would tell you like, oh, you know, you could use um isopropyl alcohol to um dehydrate your nails. And I used to use it and it used to work just fine. So, so this is what I was supposed to be using next. But what I do? I'm like, no, but wait, let's do something else. So normally, I do my nail dehydrator after I set my nails up. So before I get to applying my nails, I like to set them out so that they're easy to just pick up. Now, if you are a beginner to press on nails and you've been using a little nail putty stuff, sometimes if you let the nail sit on the little in a putty for too long, it'll kind of get stuck to the other side of the nails because if you're doing um your nails, then you definitely should be fouling the inside of your um nail just so that that also has a tacky layer. So you're gonna foul the inside of the press on nail and then you're going to foul your nail as well. So I like to set them all out. And again, if it's any putty, you just use a little another piece of putty and just roll it around um, inside of the nail and the rest of the putty will stick to that part and then you'll be good to go. Don't use nothing to like pick it out or anything like that. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just placing everything out because I want to be able to just easily put the nails on when it's time to put the nails on. I don't want to have to go through what I just went through getting them off of the sand. So now that I got everything set up and it's time, I should have been using a nail dehydrator right now, but I did, did I do that? No, but I use the isopropyl alcohol. So that's a, a dehydrator as well. So coming from me, I'm not a professional, but in my experience, if you don't have an actual nail dehydrator, the isopropyl alcohol can act as a nail dehydrator. Now, when you do do a nail dehydrator, I would do one that's acid free because I made that mistake and it ate my hands up, y'all. So when I was opening up the nail bottle, I it kind of slipped and I got, um, what did I get? I got glue on my hands. But I keep a bottle of acetone nearby. I keep the acetone on deck. So I just put a little bit on the cotton ball. So now it's time to apply the nails. I did my thumb first because you know the thumb that where the nail kind of grew back wonky. It takes a little bit of time. So I did that off camera. So what I do is I put the glue on my nail first to let it get a little tacky. And then I put the glue inside of the press on nail. I press it down for like two, three seconds. Then I check it to make sure that it's straight because by that time it's not completely stuck on. And then once I realize that it's straight, I just apply my pressure on it. A little bit of glue might come out on the sides. That's fine. You could just wipe that away or foul it off later once it dry. And then I just continue that process with every single last nail. So the, the biggest thing is you want to make sure that you're applying the nail, the glue on your nail as well as inside of the actual press on nail. That's that's what I do. It might not work for everybody. Everybody might not need all that. But for me, my, my nail beds, the, the oil comes back so quickly, it'd be crazy. And then if I don't dehydrate my nails um, good enough and I don't have enough glue on them, the nails will end up popping off sooner than I would like for them to pop off. You're just going to go through the whole process doing this to every single nail until the nails are completely complete and then you're going to be good to go it's always like one nail that I always want to just pop off too soon if you run into that that's the nail that you want to put a little bit more glue on
So that's just some of the nails I am putting more um, glue on them. Y'all, I feel like I haven't had nails in so very long. It's crazy. But I'm so glad that I was able to um, get my nails together today. Feeling really, really good. This is how they look once they're done. But because I can do my own press-ons when I want to do my own press-ons, how I want to do my own press-ons, I get the the happiness of being able to do my nails on my own the way that I like to do them. When I tell y'all I have come a very long way from my first set of press-ons from me when I first decided to start doing my nails, just me knowing that it's like I, I could do my nails and I did this.